there was a bridge that the North Vietnamese had built, and it was an essential part of the Ho Chi Minh Trail, so it was a very important target. As I released the bombs, some lucky gunner got an exploding anti-aircraft round that hit my engine, and I knew I had to eject, and I did so. Part of our training in fighters was to go through a survival training program. And while I was there, I was in a class and a master sergeant happened to be the instructor. And he was explaining how in World War II, prisoners held by the Germans were able to communicate between two buildings by tapping on a water pipe. And uh, as I was walking out of the class, the instructor was just beside me. And I said, how did they send the dashes and he said, oh, I should explain. It was not the Morse code. It was a tap code. They were not teaching it as part of the program, but I just happened by chance to learn it from this instructor. So uh, after I was shot down in North Vietnam, I was one of the very early shoot downs, and I was able to communicate that tap code to uh, some other POWs, as we were moved from into other camps away from Hanoi, uh, always someone took a tap code with them and was able to pass it on. So no matter where you went in the POW system in North Vietnam, if you heard this, the guy on the other side of the wall would, and you were started the communication process. I guess the reason we all knew it was so important is it was a morale factor, of course, just to be able to communicate. Uh, we helped each other. Uh, when someone was taken out and badly, badly mistreated for days or whatever, and finally came back to his cell, he would be physically, mentally, emotionally almost a basket case. After his door was closed and the turnkey left, and the first thing he would hear is, that's G-B-U. And he would, you know, take strength from that knowing that we understood Bud had just been admitted that day to hospice, and Dory and I went into the other room to talk so that Smitty and Bud could have a time together. And in a few minutes, Smitty came out of the room and his eyes had welled up, and he was not actively crying, but I could tell it was right there just ready to happen. And as we got in the car, Smitty said, tears came down. He said, you know what just happened? And I said, what? And he said, when I started to leave Bud, he reached up and grabbed my hand. And on the back of me, my hand, he tapped GDU. And both of us kind of lost it at that point because that code meant so much to them. And it still does.